All right, good Monday, everybody. Hi, happy to see you, happy to work out with you. My name is Kim with TC Fit. So glad you're here. We're gonna work hard. We're gonna get our strength going for about 20, 25 minutes. And then we're gonna shift over and get our stretching in. So you're gonna get a great big strength training session in first, and then we'll shift over to stretching at the end. We're gonna do something today called the bear. If you've never done the bear, don't be afraid but be a little afraid. <laughs> it's a good challenge, but it's a great big move that takes you through all the necessary parts of making you strong. And we're gonna break it down into pieces one at a time and then you'll kind of see how it pans out in the end. So welcome to your Monday Bear. Let's take a deep breath in and get our bodies warm and ready to go. And then we'll get right on it. Give me a couple deep breaths in. Give me a couple deep squats. You wanna get that range of motion in your body. One more deep breath, reaching all the way up. Arms are going back behind you like you're swimming. It's gonna get those shoulders ready to go because the bear does include shoulder work. It is a full body move. Once you get it all together. Four, three, two, take those arms in forward direction, same thing. Again, just going through the rotator cuff here, trying to get all parts of that shoulder ready to go. Now, if you just take your right arm and give me what we call a figure eight, Think about drawing that number eight here with your shoulder all the way up over and around. Three, and two, and switch it to the side. So the bulk of our workout today and our strength training is gonna include that bear, which again, includes things that are most important for your body, legs, shoulders, core, all the muscles you wanna work, deep breath in. And then if we get done with our bear and we still have time left, I've got other things planned for you too. We're coming down, touching your toes. Let's walk out and find a plank position. Hold your plank, lift your chest up, set your legs in the ground. Now lift your legs up and walk your hands back to your toes and roll your body up. This is called an inchworm. It's one of my favorite warm up moves because it really helps you open up your spine and engage your core. Drop your legs, lift your chest. You get to stretch out the front of your body. And as you're walking back, you stretch out the back of your body. It's a great full body stretch. Let's do one more, but it's also active. And what we know about our warm up is we want to get stretched out in an active way. We never want to just be still because we want to get our heart going. We want to get our muscles going. All right, so all the way back up. Shoulders are down. Take your toes and turn them out. Heels are in. And we're just dropping into a nice wide sumo squat. Thinking low in between your heels, reaching out in front of you. Good, pulse it down for three at the bottom. So three, two, one, reach all the way up. Come back, three, two, one, reach all the way up. Now next time I reach up, I'm gonna pick my heels up. Reach, heels, three, two. So you're sitting down on your glutes and your heels and then you're lifting them up nice and strong. Let's do one more, down three, Two, all the way up to singles. Let's go, go low, high. And you can keep your heels in the ground or you can bring them along with you. Let's do four more. Go four, up, and three, and two. Good, step over to the right, lunge, and push back, reach, and do that again. Lunge, push back, reach. So a little bit of an inner thigh stretch, nice little activation to your glute medius. Let's do one more on this side, and then just switch sides. Going over to that side lunge. Again, don't round your back. On that side lunge, you want to keep your chest up. Let's do three more. You have a nice long spine into the picture. Now, when you choose your weights today, I want you to always think about starting heavy, knowing that you can always back off as you go along, okay? So we're going to start off right away with what I call the bear. And the first move in the bear is a deadlift. And we're gonna break each part of the bear down and do eight of each part, okay? The deadlift comes first. So as you grab your weights, think about what you can do for a deadlift. How does your back feel? How do your legs feel? How do your glutes feel? The weights are gonna be in front of the thighs. Shoulders are up, back, and down. You're gonna anchor your heels into the ground. As you lower your weights down your legs, stretch your legs all the way in the back and then squeeze up. There's one and then exhale, squeeze up. There's two. Exhale, squeeze, there's three. Try to keep those shoulders pulled back. Squeeze, there's four. Exhale, squeeze, there's five. Down, yeah, six, two more. And seven, you got one more. 
and eight. Now the second part of the bear is the clean. Not clean and press, just the clean part. So you're gonna sink through your legs, keep the weights right in front of you, and clean to your shoulders, okay? Let's do it together eight times. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Make sure you exhale as you pull the weights right up along the front of your body. Six. Exhale, five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. And two. And one. Third part of the bear is once you get your last clean in, you go right into a front squat. Now remember in a front squat that the weight needs to be in the front of the body, not here and not on the back, in front of you. So you're gonna drop down and press with your heels eight times. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Seven, get nice and low in your heels. And six. Five. And four. This is a nice way to kind of continue the warm up. Three, and yet just to start the workout. Here's two. And here's one. Now the next part is the overhead press. We've got eight of them. Exhale, eight. Exhale, seven. And six. A little bend in your knees, my friends. Exhale, five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. And two. Now on the next thing, you're gonna take the weights on the back of the shoulders, and we're gonna do a back squat. So think of a barbell sitting on the back of your shoulders. Rest the weight there. Let's do eight of them. Seven. Six, get nice and low in your hips. Five. And four. Looking good, friends. And three. And two. The next thing we do is a bent over row. So we bring the weight over the head, back down the front of the body, hinge over, and row. Eight. Seven. Six. So you can see how the bear includes all your muscles. Five. And four. Three. Now the very last thing to do, two, is keep your weights in your hands. One, drop to a plank position. You can set your weights down and step back, or you can jump up, or step up. Stand, that's one. Down, step back, step up, and stand, that's two. Down, you can jump back, and jump up. There's three. Otherwise, that stepping motion is fine. The majority of the work is done in the middle of the body. Exhale. Come on down, back, up, squeeze on the way up. Beautiful. Down, back, and squeeze. I think we've got one more, right? Down, plank, up, and squeeze. Now, that's the whole bear. We did eight of each thing. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break it down to seven. And we're gonna do a little less talking and a little more moving. Deadlifts in three, in two, in one, and go. Down and up. There's one. And when I say less talking, <laughs> I'm accusing myself, not you. <laughs> I'm doing all the jabbering. There's three. Exhale up. There's four. We're gonna do all the same moves, my friends. Exhale, there's five. Nice long deadlift. And six, only one more. And seven, clean. Here we go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Sit back into it. Three. Two. Hold the weights up. Front squat. Seven. Six. Five. Come on, sit back. Weights in front of the body. Four. What does that do? Three. It challenges your core. Two, and overhead press. One, two, we got seven of everything. Three, come on. Four, exhale five, exhale six. Now the weights go on the shoulders, slightly toward the back, and you sit. Seven, it's a back squat. Six, five, get low. Four, how's your breathing? Exhale on the way up. Three, two, and take the weight over your head, back down your body. You 
Got a row, flat back. There's one. Exhale, there's two. Three, I'm pulling the weights toward my hip bones. Toward my hip bones, not straight up to my shoulders, not straight up to my armpits. Three, two, one. Plank to stand, here we go. Jump back or step back. One, and lift. Two, and lift. Three, exhale up. Four, come on. Here's five. Squeeze the plank. Squeeze on the way up. Six. One more. Up and seven. That's the bear in a seven count pattern. Now we're gonna take it to six count pattern. I don't know how you're doing with your weights, but you'll know if you need to adjust all the way through. Change them up. Weight shoulders back and down. We start with the deadlift. Now we've got six. Ready? Here we go. There's one. Squeeze. Exhale. Two. Come on. There's three. Four. Five. Six, and we clean six times. Six. Five. Four, come on. Three. Two, now hold them up. One, front squat, six times. Six, put your elbows down to your legs. Five, you wanna be able to squat nice and deep, friends. Four, range of motion counts. Three, get down there. Two, overhead press, ready? One, let's go. One, two, three, four, two more. Five, now it's a back squat. Six, keep the weight back, go. Sit back just as low, come on, one. Two, three, uh, four, it's getting hard, right? Five, six, over your head, keep the weights down your body, hinge over, flat back, outside, row, six, five, four, three, two, you go right to a plank, keep your back nice and straight, your long spine, go, one, Stand with the weight. Two. Squeeze on the way up. Three. Pull with your glutes. Come on. Boom. There's four. Five. And six. How are we doing? We're going down to five of each. Sorry, I've got a little hair on my face. It's tickling my face. Ready? Deadlifts in five, four, three, two, and one. One. Two, long spine, long legs. Come on, slight bend in the knee. Three, not much. Four. And ready, clean it, go. One, two, five of their Come on. Four, last one, front squat. Five, hold it here. One, two, three, get down there. Four, overhead press. Five, go. One, you can take it to a push press. Two, what does that mean? Use your legs like this. Three, watch. Four, if you need them, use them. Five, now back squat, take the weight down and back behind your ears. One, two, Three, come on, nice and low. Four. Weights go overhead, slide them down the front of your body, hinge over, and row. Five. Four, pull your belly in tight. Three. Two. One, plank to stand, ready, set, go. One. Squeeze. Two. Squeeze. Three. Come on, two more, four, up, here's five, hold it up, we go to fours, ready, deadlift is first in three, 
In two, I give you just enough time to change weight, and then we go. Come on, squeeze. Here's the thing, you guys, we're going all the way down to one. We're on fours. So we've got the biggest chunk done. Come on, three, one more. Four, now clean it, four times, go. Four, three, two, now four front squats. Hold it, four, three, two, four overhead presses, four push presses, four, three, back squat your next, put the weight high, four, three, come on, two, bent over rows are next, weight goes over, down, hinge, four, three, two, plank, to stand, go. Squeeze in the plank, don't just plop your waist back. Squeeze as your feet go behind you. Come on, two more. Remember your stepping option. I'll bring it back, one more. Okay, threes, threes, ready? Starting in three, starting in two, deadlifts, go. Exhale, one, come on, two, Clean it, go. Three, one, two, hold it. Three, front squat, go. One, two, overhead presses next. Three, go. One, two, back squat. Three, go. One, two, three rows. Hinge over. Go, one, two, plank, go, step or hop, up, one, step or hop, up, two, one more, go, three, catch your breath, we go to twos, and then you're going to get a break before we go to our ones, ready, three, two, dead, let's go, two times, one, Squeeze your glutes. Two, now clean it, go. One, hold it up, front squat, go. One, now overhead press, go. One, now back squat, go. One, two, now bent over rows, go. Up, over, and down. One, two, now plank, step or hop back. Up, squeeze one. Back, up, squeeze two now. I'm gonna give you a moment to set your waist down and grab a sip of water because you've just practiced the bear. We broke it down from eight all the way to one. The one is the real bear. So this is the real bear now. So what is it? Let me remind you before you grab your weight. It's coming down for a deadlift, a clean, a front squat, a press, a back squat, a press, a row, and then a plank. And we're gonna do multiple times. We'll do the first two together, and then I'm gonna just gonna let you rip them out until we're done. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to work it. So, put your big boy pants on, put your big girl pants on, pull everything on, get ready to go, whatever you got. Here we go. Ready, set. Let's do it slow together on the first one. Deadlift. Now clean, front squat, press. Back squat, press. Bent over row, plank, stand up, deadlift. Ready? Clean, squat, press. Back squat, press. Row, plank. Now you can stay with me or you can go on your own. It's your choice. Deadlift, clean, front squat, press, back squat, press, bent over row, and plank. Come up, deadlift, clean, come on, keep going. Front squat, press, back, press, bent over row, plank, up, and go again, down, clean, front squat, 
press, back squat. Come on, bench over row. Frank, we've got one more. Come on, one more. Deadlift, clean, front squat, press, back squat, press, bench over row. Plank, stand. And you did it, the bear. Fantastic, what a great way to start your Monday. All right, pick up your weights for bicep curls. Got a couple of more things that we're gonna do in the last couple minutes here of our strength part before we stretch. Let's just start with hammer curls. Right, left, right, left. Exhale as you pull up. Put a little bend in your knees. Bicep curls are a nice recovery move. Your heart rate's high. You worked really hard, you guys. Biceps are a good recovery move. They keep you going. They keep your heart rate pushing. They keep your muscles working, but they're not super hard. They give you a chance to recover in an active way. Active recovery is a great way to recover when you're building strength like this. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Push-ups are next. Six. That's not recovery. Five, but they're good for you. Four. And three. And two. Now keep the weights that you want to use for chest flies next to you. We're gonna go push-ups, then we're gonna flip on our back. We have chest lines coming up. So step back and find your plank position. Knees or toes, either one is fine. We've got 12 push-ups coming your way. Ready, set, let's go. 12, 11, 10, nine, now keep going. Eight, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna look like I'm on the ground. Seven, look where my arms are. Six, see they wrap around my back. Five, they're not up here. Four, they wrap around my back. Three, wrap around the back. Two, one, and good. Set your knees down. Pull your feet through to the front. We wanna lift the hips up into bridge and do 12 chest flies. The dumbbells are above the heart. The hips lift off the ground. Keep your glutes really tight. Bend your elbows just slightly and open up. Down, squeeze, there's one. Down, down. Squeeze, there's two, we want a dozen of them. They're a little bit slower because the arms go far away from the body. We wanna protect the shoulder joint, there's four. We wanna move slow and steady, there's five. Nice and strong, nice and capable. Come on, exhale, six. Breathing, there's seven. Come on, come on. Pull, pull, eight, down. Pull, pull, nine, down. Come on, two more. One more, now you're gonna stay down here. Keep the weights above your head. You can set your bridge down if you want. You can also put it up again when we go to triceps. Otherwise, feel free to leave your hips down. We're gonna bend and press. My weights are touching, my elbows are close together. Tricep skull crusher and press, bend and press. See if you can get your weights to touch the ground. Get your elbows to a 90 degree angle. Bend and press. Come on. Down, press. Good, so that's eight of them. Let's do four more. We got a dozen, come on. Here's nine, press. Here's 10, press. 11, press. Now the last thing we're gonna do, 12. Is bring the weights down next to our side. We're gonna hang on to the weights with our hands. So you see that the weights are right next to my hips? I'm gonna hold on to them with my hands. I want them to give me a little leverage. I'm gonna take my legs into what I call a leg throw down. So I wanna raise my hips just an inch and then lower, heels down, and lift. Lower, heels down, up, lower, kick. So I'm hanging onto the dumbbells for a little leverage. You have something to grip there to keep your body nice and stable. You want to try to push into the weights to get your hips off the ground, and then lower the legs nice and strong. Feet together, thighs together, knees together, working on those lower abs. Come on, lift, lower, press. Give me four. Lift, lower, and press. Three. Oh, come on, there's two. And there's one. Good, and hold the legs up in the air. 
a hold of your right leg at the calf. Let your left leg float to the ground and just stay right there. Draw the leg toward the face. Close your eyes. I just want you to take five slow, deep breaths. Friends, I knew that the bear would take a lot of our time and it did. And that's good. That brings us to a nice deep stretch. So breathe as you're holding on to that hamstring stretch. Make sure that the breath is steady. And by the way, as you're exhaling, you're gonna try to pull back maybe just a little bit farther on that leg. So it doesn't stay in one spot the whole time. You wanna have a little bit of movement through the breath. Let the exhale draw back. Let's go ahead and switch. Let's take both legs in the air again. Feel that legs up the wall position. That's a great recovery pose. And then hold on to your left leg this time as you let your right leg drop down. Close your eyes. And just take five deep breaths. Your eyes closed. The leg staying still and yet on the exhale, finding a little more room. Trying to give it just a little bit more distance. Stretch opening you up rather than just staying static. You, you want to change your flexibility. So that means you need to change your position as you breathe. Keeping a hold of that leg, let's go ahead and sit yourself up. And as you come up to a seated position, I got to get my weights out of the way. We're going to go ahead and bring your feet together at the sole of the feet. Your knees opening out to a frog-like position. So a little butterfly stretch here, your hands wrapping around your toes. And then the first thing I want you to do, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see, is get rid of this. And as you hold your feet, bring in this. So bring the crown of your head up, almost like someone has a string attached to the crown of your head and they're lifting it to the ceiling above you. Pull back on your toes. Keep the soles of your feet touching. Let your knees drop down. Now keep your back straight as you pull forward. You might not go very far. That's okay. Keep breathing. Go a little farther. Keep breathing. Go a little farther. Keep breathing. Keep moving. So you're making the stretch active, but very slow, very steady. We'll pull just a little bit farther. Now on the next breath, you're gonna get rid of your straight back and you're just gonna collapse your head down. Just collapse. Sitting up nice and tall, let's stretch the legs out again out in front of you. We'll take the right knee into the chest and roll down under your back. This time, as you come onto your back, set your head on the ground. Your left hand pulls the right knee over the body. Your right hand is gonna open over to the side for leverage. Just keep pulling that left knee across. And again, your breath makes it deeper. Every time you exhale, just give it a little tiny bit more. Not big, not dramatic. You don't wanna overstretch because that gives less help Good. come back to the center. Draw your left knee in and send your right leg all the way down. Now your right hand is gonna pull the left knee across the center of the body. The left hand opens to the side. Close your eyes and breathe. And again, with each exhale, pull it across a little more, go a little deeper. On the next breath, as you come back to the center with that knee, hold on to it and just use it for a help to sit yourself up again. Just a little leverage to bring you up. Now this time, instead of putting the soles of your feet together, I want the soles of your feet facing forward with your toes flexing toward the sky. Heels on the ground, legs together, nice and close. And again, I want you to take your back from here 
to here and sit really tall. And if you can hang on to your legs and pull forward, keeping your back tall, not rounding, tall, like you're hinging at the hip. Maybe you can walk your hands and grab your shins or maybe you can grab your ankles. If you have short legs like me and you're flexible, you could maybe grab your toes, but look, I'm not rounding. Tall. I'm pulling the center of my sternum towards my shoelaces, little by little, as I breathe. As I breathe, don't hold your breath. Eyes stay up, head stays up. On the next breath, you're gonna collapse. You ready? Inhale fully. Now just exhale, collapse. No straight back, just let it go. Take one more breath here. Get yourself up nice and slow. Stack your vertebra one at a time. Let's roll over onto your hip. It doesn't matter which side. You're gonna get a hold of the top leg. Grab the shoelaces. Bring the heel toward the glute. And then once you get the heel toward the glute, see if you can pull your knee and your quad slightly behind where your hip is. So rather than just hold on to it, see if you can pull it back, angle it behind you so that it's not just your quadricep, but you feel it go all the way up here into your hip flexor as you draw back behind you. Take a couple deep breaths. We're gonna use this foot as we come up to see the position, hang on to your right foot or whatever foot you're holding, it doesn't matter which one. All you're gonna do is take it and cross it over the bottom leg. Set it down on the ground and then sit yourself up and wrap your opposite arm twist, look over your shoulder. Now we're gonna stretch our chest open and our shoulders, our anterior deltoids, which is this part of the shoulder. It does require a little effort. It's not just a passive stretch. So you're gonna have to work a little on this one, but it's worth it. Your feet are about hip width apart. Fingertips face toward the body. Your hands are about shoulder width apart behind you. Looking up, you're gonna inhale. Now, as you exhale, I want you to think about lifting from the belly and supporting from the glutes. You ready? Deep breath in. Exhale, lift at the belly. Squeeze the belly button. Support at the glutes and just push your hips as high as you can. Now, here's where you get the best stretch. You just let your head relax. Let it relax back. Push your chest up a little higher. Push your hands into the floor a little bit more. Keep breathing. I know there's effort here, but you want to just breathe calmly. Keep lifting your chest up. Feel the shoulders and the chest opening up, getting some space, getting some room. Lift up a little bit higher in your glutes. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, set your hips down. Let's round the back for a moment. We're gonna repeat that one more time, but I want you to give your arms just a break for a second here. Let's stretch the legs out and twist the other way. I don't think we got the other hip in, and then we'll go back to that same thing. So bring the knee across that you didn't get before. Give yourself a little bit of a rotation. A nice little stretch in your low back and hip. Remember, never be completely passive. So every exhale, you wanna think about going a little bit farther in that rotation, or maybe just a little bit more into that leg, pulling it just a teeny bit farther. So let's come back around and repeat that shoulder and chest expansion one more time. Fingertips face the glutes, feet are hip width apart, a lot of it relies on your core, so you gotta use your belly button to lift. Look up on the inhale. Exhale, lift from the belly. Support from the glutes. Push, let your head relax back. Lengthen your arms, lift your chest up. Try to straighten your arms out. Just breathe. One more, deep breath in here, really lift. And exhale. Set it down. All right, now come on over to your hands and knees and I want you to be on your mat or whatever you have in front of you, whether it's a towel or a mat, something soft 
needs to go under your knees and they're gonna go wide. So what we're gonna do is start in a straddle position. Put your hands in the ground, take your right leg over to the side and then take your left foot to the other side. So what you want is as you look down, you want somewhere for your knees to land that will be soft because they're gonna need it. Now, however wide your feet are, however wide you think you are, I want you to go just a little bit wider, just a little bit farther out. Really straddle yourself, really get open. Okay, now look at my toes. I'm gonna turn them out slightly. Now stay there. I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna walk my hands forward and as I walk forward, I'm setting my legs on the mat, the inside of my legs on the mat. So again, as I face you, you can see my knees go down the inside of the knees, the inner thighs, the inner calf is on the ground. So you look like a frog and this is called a prone frog position. So we spend all this time stretching out here, but what about in here? Because guess what? All of this is connected out here. So we wanna make sure that we have the opportunity to stretch here too. Can you come to your forearms and stay here just for a moment, breathe, see how you feel. Again, your inner thighs and the inside of your knees are on the ground. If it's super tight, you just can't bear it. Pull your heels closer together. That will help. You see how that feels. Now, here's the thing. Maybe you're on your forearms, maybe you're on your hands. Can you do this? Can you just push your hips back a little bit? Ooh, do you feel that? Keep breathing, keep breathing. I'm gonna need that breath to help you. And again, use your breath to try to relax the places that are causing you tightness or anxiety. Just use your breath. Close your eyes. Maybe let your forehead fall. Take one more deep breath here. Now the tricky part of prone frog is <laughs> I mean, obviously it's tricky on its own, but the other tricky part is getting out of it. So let's do it together. Where if you're on your forearms, I want you to come to your hands. And then really all you're gonna do is slide your right knee into the middle and then slide your left knee into the middle. And now you found yourself on your hands and knees. You can round into a cat stretch and you can release into cow. Again, round up into cat. Release down. Now round into cat and hold it, tuck your toes under, lift your knees up and take your whole body and press it back and up. So your hips go high, your tailbone lifts, but your heels go down. Beautiful big down dog. Spread your fingers, push through your fingertips, push through the palm of your hand, push through your wrist, push through your entire hand, the whole surface. Next breath, push your chest a little closer to your thighs. Next breath, push your heels a little closer to the floor, always remaining active in your stretch. Now take your feet and widen your stance out and walk your hands back. And as your hands come back between your feet, Turn your heels in and drop your tailbone down. You're back into that frog position, but this time not quite so deep. And you're feeling in a little different area. You can keep weight in your arms or you can bring your palms together and push with your elbows. Then you really feel that low back and hip area. Just breathe here. Take one more nice deep breath and gently let your hands come back down. We're gonna lift the tailbone up, straighten the legs out, let your head fall forward. Now just slowly stack your spine up to standing. Stack, stack, stack. Each vertebra gets a moment. As you come up tall, bring your shoulders up and back and down. Your left arm goes over your head as you press onto the elbow just a little bit into that tricep area. Also getting another shoulder stretch. And then we're switching to the other hand. Just a little bit of press on that shoulder. Great job, you guys. Our time is up. You've done a fantastic job today getting both your strength and your stretching in, both so important to your well-being overall. So I'm so glad you were here. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that we see you again next week. Um, maybe I'll see you live in the studio one of these days.
enjoy the rest of your Monday. Once again, thanks so much for your time and for being here, sticking it out and doing what you need to do for yourself. And have a great Monday.